Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omar and today I will review the What Even Is It? The third studio album by the British rock band The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night, which is arguably the most famous or the most acclaimed album from this era of the band, of their, you know, essentially their boy band era. Uh, kill me for that, but you know, I don't care. That's essentially what they were back in the day. Yeah, and again, I was like, oh, well, this is actually a really acclaimed album, and, you know, it has five stars on all music, and it's really acclaimed, and, you know, everyone loves it, so... I was like, oh, maybe I like this one again, but, well, to my surprise, I'll be damned, I did not really care for this album, to be honest. Like, you know, together with Beatles for Sale and Please Please Me, which I also... <coughs> excuse me. Which I also didn't really care for. Uh, but the other day it was good. Dave is pretty good, but or pretty good. It's you know it's solid. I guess it's a solid debut. Uh, Beautiful still really like it. Almost put me to sleep. You know, almost. So I didn't really care for that album. Uh, this album is kind of in the middle of that. I, I thought it was gonna be the best one, but it did kind of bore me. But you know maybe these albums just kind of bore me in general. So there you go. Um, yeah, so you have the title track, which is pretty iconic, which was of course featured in the uh, feature length film, you know, from the band, so there's that. I do, I do like this song, but it's not really that special, you know, it's been a hard day's night, it's been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a dog. You know the lyrics, you know, you know the song, you know everything about the song, so I don't really care for it, to be honest. I should have known better, well, I should have known better that I, um, you know, I shouldn't really like these, or I, I didn't really like these Beatles albums because, you know, they're just, they're just very low value, they're just very uh, low production scheme, so I don't, just don't care for them, for this album, you know, that is. I do care for the Beatles, but not for this album, per se. Now we have If I Fell, um, yeah, If I Fell, then, you know, face plan, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm happy just to dance with you, kind of a derivative song, but you know, not not that I'm actually reading these songs. Actually, none of the songs have like co-credits to them. So this is actually the first album I believe they wrote it themselves. So you can definitely see there was a, definitely more of a consistent sound going on with this album, but it was still pretty derivative. The, the Beatles were still trying to find their footing in the discography, in their you know, in the band. So there you go. Not that special, but it is going on from here, so that is a good part. And I love her. Um, well, I don't, I don't even know her, so <laughs> there's that. Tell Me Why, which yeah, it was a catchy song, uh, sung by John Lennon. I do like the song a bit more. Probably one of my favorite songs of the album, together with the uh, with the title track and this upcoming song, uh, Can Buy Me Love, which was uh, probably the, the most catchy song of the album, uh, sung by Paul McCartney. Um, I do I do like the chorus, I do like the melodies on the song, I do think it's a good good written song. I think for the majority McCartney wrote it, so you know I'm more of a McCartney guy than I am a Lennon fan. Uh because of the whole like post Beatles discography and Yoko Owner and shit like that, so I do like this song a bit more, probably my favorite song on the album, arguably, so there there's that. <sighs> Anytime at all. No thanks, I'll cry instead. Yeah, I have to listen to this album. No, it's just, it's just kidding, it's not that bad, but it's just fucking boring. Um, things we said today, you know, um, also sung by McCartney. It's a little more folky, I think, you know, the more of the songs are pop rock and just more pop centric. And this song was a bit more folky, so I do like that. Uh, does show a bit more diversity, but still not a lot, I would say. You know, it's just okay, but it's not that amazing, it's not, not that standout. Um, yeah, so most of these songs are pretty derivative. You know, when I got home, 2 minutes 17 seconds, I didn't really care for this one because um, it's just mainly like just um, like a pre chorus, a chorus, a bridge, and then this song kind of goes out again. It just it repeats itself a lot. so... I just don't care for that to be honest. Um, you can do that. Well, I can. I can shit on the song, which I'm doing right now. So uh, there you go, John Lennon. I can do that. And I mean, you can make a fucking sh shitty avant garde record with Joko Ono, and you can do that, but you can't do this or or, or this, whatever. It's fucking stupid. I'll be back. No thanks. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't really have a lot to say about these songs. Like, uh, A Hard Day's Night. I've, I haven't seen the movie per se, but uh, it's just about the Beatles, like getting um, run over by Beatles girls or by Beatle manias and shit like that, by the Beatle mania. So I don't really care for it, to be honest. I think it's just okay. Um, it's not as bad as Beatles for Sale. Beatles for Sale is not a bad album, but it's definitely the worst album, if you ask me. So this is one of their weaker discs, I would say, especially with, with a rating like that, a fucking five star rating. I don't agree with that, of course. So uh, not a lot to say about this album. I just think it's okay. It's kind of whatever for me. So um, there's that. I don't care. Um, it's better than Beatles for Sale, but it's not as good as Please Please Me because I thought Please Please Me had some really good songs. I think everything on this album is pretty streamlined, whereas with Beatles for Sale there were some like a bit of highs and a bit of lows, whereas this album is consistent like, it's just consistently like monotone, it's pretty like derivative for me. Like there's, there are no terrible moments, but there are also no, not really amazing moments or very good moments like Please Please Me Out. So I'm feeling like a pretty middle of the road rating, so I would probably give this a 6.5 out of, out of 10. This is my rating, 6.5 out of 10. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I really don't care for these uh, older Beatle, Beatles albums. So this is probably the last old Beatles album that I will ever review because I really don't care for the, for the old Beatles. I, I just like them in their, in their newer phase, there you go. In their, in their later era, in the psychedelic phase, there you go. Who doesn't? So there's that. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to the channel for videos like this one. Let me know what you, th what you think about this album in the comments down below. What do you think about the the you know the old Beatles? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you prefer it over the new or the, the, the later era? Do you prefer it over the old shit? Or old shit? What? Do you prefer the early era? Do you prefer the later era? Do you like? Do you love or hate this? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't, I don't hate it. I... I yeah, I just think it's okay. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. So there you go. So there's that. Uh, six, uh, six and a half out of ten. That's my rating. Let me know what your rating is in the comments down below. Uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Jan, early Beatles. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. And peace. Later.